Welcome. Thank you for being here with me today. Hope you're all doing really well. We're looking at Rasheen Carter's case today. So he was a young 25-year-old uh, black man who went missing from Mississippi, October 1st, 2022. He actually was working as a welder, as a short-term contractor for a company, um, and he was having issues with his co-workers and his boss. And he had sent his mother a chilling text message stating that he was being chased by a group of white men in pickup trucks. I think there were three pickup trucks full of men, uh, white men who were hurling racial abuse at him. And he had actually sent his mother a text message saying, me and the owner of this company are not seeing eye to eye. If anything happens to me, he, you know the guy's name, is responsible for it. He got these guys wanting to kill me. So his mum's freaked out at this stage and she's urged him to go to the police department and it states somewhere that he did actually visit the Taylorsville Police Department. I think he went there twice. One article does state that he went there twice. Um, but I'm not sure exactly what the response was from them. Um, and he was reported missing by his mum the next day. So obviously she's concerned. She's probably chased him up and, you know, texted him or tried to call saying, how did it go? Are you okay? And there's no response. So at 4.32 p.m. that same day that he was reported missing, uh, there was um, footage captured on a deer trail cam in a wooded area. And you can see Carter in this still frame here where he's walking through the woods shirtless and his family and his mum, they say there's bruises on his arms. The police departments are saying, well, that could just be shadows. Um, but either way, it's very concerning that exactly the same day or the day after he sent this message to his mother, he is shirtless in a wooded area that he would no, have no reason to be in. And she says he looks worried. I think they're saying something along the lines that he looks worried. He's, he's looking around like there's someone in the woods there. Now, the police are saying, well, we can't say there's foul play because there was no other people witnessed in that trail camera. Um, and these guys, you know, these co-workers stayed at a hotel with Rashim. I'm pretty sure they all stayed at a hotel in Laurel County um, together and they would travel 20 miles to the job each day. Um, so it sounds like they weren't just at the workplace together. They were also, you know, at a hotel as well, staying there. Um, and so a month later, November 2nd, his remains were found, his skeletal remains were found 300 yards from where the footage had been taken or captured from that deer trail, cra trail cam. Um, and it's just bizarre, guys, because they say that his head was decapitated from his body. And I think the bottom jaw was missing or something was missing with the teeth. So they believe, you know, his family believe that he was assaulted, maybe had a broken jaw or his teeth have come out from being punched. Perhaps they believe this is like a lynching. Maybe he was hung up or something. It's, it's horrible to think about. I don't even want to get into the graphics. Um, you know, this is a trigger warning I've put on the video because there is, um, you know, graphic material here. I wouldn't put this up here if his parents didn't put that up, you know, in their protest, in their campaign, in their press release. They actually had shown photos of him, of his, you know, skeletal remains. Uh, yeah, it's seriously disturbing, guys. And it's all fair and well for the cops to say, well, there's no evidence of foul play. I don't think they have actually closed, as far as I'm aware, to this day. I don't think they've closed the investigation. I think they're still asking for tips for people to come forward with information, but they can't rule foul play because they're saying there's no evidence whatsoever um, besides that text message. Yeah, besides that text message um, that he'd sent his mother, which is pretty telling. Hello. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he's basically saying, if I end up dead, it's these guys. And guess what? He ended up dead a, a day after he had actually gone to the police and sent his mother that text. I mean, it's not rocket science, is it? 
But at the same time, the police are saying, well, we haven't had one-on-one -on -one interviews with these workers because they all left to, you know, they come in from other states and they've gone back to their states. So we've just done, I think they just did phone calls or interviews. I don't even know if they really did call everybody. Uh, but it's not good enough. It's not good enough. And yeah, they're saying that there's, you know, evidence that he, why would he be in those woods, you know, with his shirt off? And um, I'm not sure if there's an actual video somewhere. I'd have to have a look because I like to analyse it as well. But all I could see was like a photo, you know, this still frame uh, of him in this deer trail cam. So, wow, guys. <sighs> and it's so sad too because he was just trying to make some extra money on the side, you know, trying to save some money because his actual seafood shop had uh, shut down, I think, because of COVID. So he was just trying to earn some money and this is what bloody happened to him. It's just, it's horrible. Um, so we're going to do a reading today. Yeah, we're going to do a reading and, and hope that some answers can, can come through in this reading. Hopefully, uh, you know, might describe some of the perpetrators, what they might look like and what actually happened to him. Um, you know, you know, the weird thing can happen in life. People can go off on suicide. I just don't believe he's done that. I really don't believe he's done that. Um, yeah. All right, let's get started. All right, thank you, angels. Let's have a look for Rashim Carter. What do we need to know in today's reading? Thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Look what's, wow, look what's just come up here. Justice. This is what they're seeking. The family are seeking justice. Hopefully, this is telling us that justice will be served. The way it's looking right now, the cops aren't even saying there's foul play. They don't seem to be actively investigating it, um, like pursuing leads or people. Uh, if anything, they're probably just, you know, waiting for people to come to them. And there's the Nine of Swords. And this is so sad because this reminds me of his mum being the female in this card and the family um, being haunted by this, having anxiety, maybe not sleeping at night, just tossing and turning, worrying about this because, oh, it's so sad because, you know, crying at night, at night, you know, not knowing what really happened to him, you know, just the thought of him being out there alone and being ganged up on by these people, he must have been terrified. And these are the things that are, I believe are going through his mum's mind, you know, um, and anxiety because justice may never be served and it's like her boy is being forgotten and it's horrible yeah the hermit here so he may have retreated from these people he might have, I just feel like he was keeping to himself I get that idea I don't feel like he wanted to cause or stir any trouble with anybody um, if anything he was keeping to himself and just quietly wanted to just work you know and do what he needed to do to just earn his money and yeah keep to himself in this way and there's the emperor so this is a fatherly energy as well someone who's responsible a business person so this would be his dad i think he's got a dad there as well um but you know this was him this is what he wanted to do was build his way up he had dreams and goals with career um you know with his career and yeah it was just taken from him it's just horrible um, and I've, I'm sorry if you can hear my bird in the background. She's being a little bit noisy today. But for a lot of you who know, it's my yellow cockatiel, Sunshine. She does readings on my other channel. <laughs> so, the hanged man. Oh, my God. Oh, gosh. This doesn't always literally mean um, a hanging, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in other readings, this does not mean this. But the fact that the family are even saying they feel he was lynched and hung up is just horrifying to think of that these assholes did this to him yeah um yeah it's just horrible and we've got the seven of wands here as well so once again tells me he was closed off to this he didn't really want to get involved in people's issues he didn't provoke anything if anything he just tried to keep the peace with these people he might have even tried to put up boundaries. Um, but there's the vehicle. Them chasing him. Yep. Yeah, I wonder if they tried... Oh, I can see them ripping his clothes off. Uh, 
like ripping at him. Maybe that's what happened to his shirt. I don't know. Um, or maybe he took his shirt off because he was trying to hide amongst the woods. Like, just say he had a white shirt on, he'd stand out. Um, but if he's taking his shirt off, maybe he was hoping to not, you know, draw their attention through the woods of something that's bright and colourful. That's just coming through. Um, but yeah, they definitely were on a mission to hunt him down. This is what they did. They hunted him down. And there's the moon. It's the secrets right here. So funny. We're getting a lot of major arcanas here. Very interesting. Yeah, the hermit, the emperor, the hanged man, the justice card, chariot, the moon. Like This is significant. This is very... Um, there's a lot of people involved in this and I, for some reason in the in the short that I did the shorts video that I did on this it I for some reason was honing in on like four of them like there's there's a main four of them four of them are the main ones the others might have just been going along with whatever the other guys were doing but uh, yeah there's four main ones I'm picking up on here and it's interesting, the water here, the water sign, um, water again, like there's something around water I feel because in the shorts it also came up twice in part one and part two that there is, uh, what is it, there is something in like a swampy algae kind of area like where there's algae, it could even be just a small bit of water like going through the wood, I don't know, but there just looks like there's some, maybe some weapon or some evidence of some sort uh, found in there. It might have chucked something out. There's another major arcana, which is the strength card. I feel like Spirit is trying to help his mom and family be strong. I think him on the other side is, you know, trying to give his mum strength in this um, to get through this because a lot is hidden under the surface behind the scenes from these people some stuff may never come to light um yeah it's just absolutely it's just horrible like you know we see the little lamb here too it's like he was uh, a little lamb being brought to slaughter you know I know that sounds horrible but that's how I see it like he was just so gentle and these were brutes like these guys were brutal um, and he just wasn't a fighter. I don't see Rashim as a fighter. I see him as a lover and a peacekeeper rather than a fighter. And this was his energy here too, the Page of Cups. Yeah, very innocent in life. Just wanting to get ahead and, and just make something of himself. Um, maybe a little naive with some things as well. Um, you know, uh, yeah, my, yeah. I was gonna swear. I was gonna swear. I was gonna say mother effers <laughs> because uh, I seriously I don't hardly swear at any of my readings. But as soon as I get involved in a missing persons or a deceased persons reading, I just get so angry. Like it's this this angry thing for justice, you know. And um, I feel like he's also saying that actually. So this is what I feel like he's angry at them. He's angry. The magician. There's another major arcana. It's just crazy. Five of Cups. Yeah, this is the grief. This is the grief. Um, I want to have a look in a moment at some... Mag uh, um, what am I saying? The shadow cards here. This is the magic. This is the manifesting, bringing things to light. Yeah, they have travelled out, okay, out of there. Um... Yes. There's two different directions. So it, it does look like they all come from different areas. Um, there might have been two there um, that are related. I wonder if there's two of the men are cousins or brothers or something. I feel like they're very close. Like I don't feel like they all came ind independently or individually. I feel like there's two in the group who are related somehow. Or they're just like so close as best friends. They're like brothers. There's, there's something going on there. And wow, I get that. Wow, they fell it down on the floor. Hang on a minute. I get that whole pack mentality as well. I'm just going to pick up my cards. Oh, God, they love flying everywhere. Yeah, there's a, like a pack mentality with these people. I'm getting the letter M very strong here as well. And a Queen of Cups is the mum. That's his mum. 
and most likely his dad or a father figure in the family who's trying to be strong in this as well. Yeah, so there might be a, a, a new opportunity coming through for them to reinvestigate something. I'm not sure how that's going to be. Maybe they get a private investigator. I don't know. There's something going on where there's a new pathway, a new opportunity to look into something. Um, and it might have been... Uh, did they get another person to do the autopsy? I can't remember. But I do know, I feel like this is something else, like an, a new form, a new lead, a new pathway for in, like investigating. Um, hmm. Let's see what the main perpetrator's energies were that night or that day. That day or night. It's just horrific. Thank you, angels. Anxiety. Now, that's interesting. Um, and drunk. Mm hmm. Someone may have been drunk as they, were, as they were, like, driving after him. Some, some of them might have been under the influence. Not that that's an excuse. Uh, but I, I feel like some of them might have been drinking. Um, anxiety. And one of them, it's interesting this is coming up again. I'm pretty sure it was. In the shorts, I'm pretty sure it showed that somebody in the group has a conscience. And it could be maybe a younger one. Uh, but somebody has anxiety around this. Maybe they're just being anxious because they think they're going to get caught or something. Explosive. Yeah, this was explosive. So a fight kind of broke out. Um, this happened really fast. Really fast. Disrespectful. Um, did they think he was being disrespectful? Or were they being... Well, they were definitely being disrespectful. Um, numbness. So someone has just completely detached from any feeling. There's no empathy. There's no remorse. Nothing for what they've done. And yeah, but look at that grief. I'm telling you, this is so weird. There is somebody in the group who is feeling anxious and is feeling remorse. Coercion. Yeah, he was forced. And someone else might have felt that they were forced in the group. And I know that sounds weird uh, because they were all in it together. Um, yeah, but sometimes if it's a younger person, they can feel like, oh, I've got to go along with this. Um, although, or one of them was made to do something to him. Like, that's kind of how it feels. Disconnected from this um, dark energy. It might have been dark when they did this to him. Um, someone's in denial. And heartbroken. So I'm telling you, there is somebody, I don't know what the lustful thing is, I really don't get that idea. Um, but yeah, it's it's interesting. So we've got regrets here and someone's regretful and someone's ambivalent. Someone's defensive. I'm telling you, there's four main ones that are really, uh, yes, deeply involved here with this. Like the ones that, the other guys, you know, you know, they said there's like three pickup utes, okay, full of guys. Well, just say, for instance, they were all chasing him. But maybe two of the cars just backed off and drove back to the hotel and one group stayed and just kept pursuing him and then did something to him. It could be that. Um, betrayal. So he felt like he trusted at one point. I don't know how long they were all out there for. But at one point he may have felt that he had befriended one of those people and that they had his back. And it could have been that one of them had said had given him... Uh, a heads up, like, you better get the hell out of here because you're going to get, you know, you're going to get killed or you're going to get hurt. One of them could have said that to him. Whistleblower coming forward, truth revealed. I really hope so. I really hope that's going to be that one, that person who feels the remorse will come through and finally tell somebody. Oh, God, I hope it won't be a cold case. Well, it's interesting because if there's information coming through... It might still not be able to uh, lead the detectives anywhere to a resolution um, or justice or a trial, but it shows the death. So we do know that he's deceased, but there might be some things that just cannot be proven. And that really upsets me. Medium length hair someone might have. <coughs> Male victim. Yeah, that's him. Autumn. So I think it was, was it autumn that at the time he disappeared? October 1st, 
Well, that's our springtime here in, in Australia, so maybe it is autumn up there. I don't know, guys. Uh, overdose, mountains. So, as I have always said in my reading, some things come out that may be totally irrelevant because there's so many cards in here. So, we can either just push them aside or it may have uh, some kind of relevance in future. We don't know. Um, someone might live near the mountains. Someone might have an overdose. Um, gunshot shooting. I don't know if he was shot. I don't think he was shot, but someone might own a gun. They might have a, like, go to a, a shooting range often. Um, this is so weird. Drug addict addiction overdose. So one of them might actually be on drugs. They might be a, like a, a, they might be on meth or something. They might be on ice. So th there could be something that one of the guys do and they actually overdose. Oh, wow, this is interesting. Look, it just flew out. Arrest and court. Hmm. <sighs> I'm really hoping so. We've got the justice, arrest, court. We've got whistleblower coming forward. Oh, my God. I just saw it. Somebody filmed this. It's on their camera. And they might have shared it with each other, but somebody took photos or a video of what was going on with him. And they're laughing. They're laughing. Um, just sick. They're just sick. Seriously. Sick bastards. But like, it's such a cowardly thing to do. You know, people to gang up on someone who's defenseless, weaponless. It's just such a, like, coward act. You know, it's a cowardly act. Um, these people are losers. They're losers. Ran over, hit and run by a vehicle, male suspect, accomplice. So this might have happened with someone else in the past, or maybe they... Uh, well, I don't know what it's like in the wooded area. Did they come after him in his in their car? Did they try and run him... Well, they might have tried to run him over. Um, known to the victim. Yeah, well... Yep, we know they were acquainted with him, so it's not like it was a complete stranger, like they knew him. And a van, so that's weird because nothing's been mentioned about a van, but it could be that one of them does own a van. July could be significant. City, urban, ru uh, crowd, sorry, city, urban, crowd, so someone comes from a, a, like a main city and they're a thief. Well, they did take his life. Uh, but this person, one of these people is just a real loser. Like, they're, they're maybe a criminal, they're into drugs. You know, they've got no respect for life, uh, for the earth. They're just horrible. I see them, like, spitting on the ground. Just horrible people. And burn down fire arson. So I think I said this last time. I cannot remember now. Um, when I'm channeling, I don't remember everything. But I feel like they've burned evidence. There's something they've burned. So I see that uh, weird waterway, like um, a stagnant waterway. Could be a small pool or it could be like a, a pond. Something might have been put in there. Um, but I do feel they have burned down things. Um, yeah, it could have been that they... Because I see these are the kind of guys that will have a bonfire or just sit around a fire and drink and talk and laugh. And, you know, this is the kind of thing I see because I do smell the smoke. It's like a campfire smoke. So I don't know if they, obviously they've dispersed right now. They're not in the same place. Um, but I, I wonder if that was something they did as well. Like they kind of celebrated afterwards, which is just disgusting. Desert dry hot. So someone comes from a very hot climate. Break and enter and there's a gun. I'm telling you, there's someone in this group who is a freaking criminal like, uh, already, yeah, obviously a criminal from ki for killing him. But I think they've got a history of things. Oh, my God. The pickup truck in the ute was, uh, you know, he said there was three of them. And suffocation. Oh, God. I don't want to think about it. Um, and devil in disguise, trickster manipulator hiding in the shadows. So, once again, someone had it in for him, was uh, keeping an eye on him, was planned. This is planned, I'm telling you, it's planned. Someone's changed their appearance, they've got a new uh, hairstyle, different clothing they're wearing now. Um, might have shaved their head, rescued, helped retrieve. Yeah, well, we do know his body was retrieved. 
get one more mental illness fragmented stress so one of them is just not right in the head at all if not more than one um train tracks is interesting maybe someone lives near train tracks crime of passion and rage yeah it's it was it, look at that in the back jealousy issues personal i feel like they were jealous of him they saw him as a weak link they went after him and there's a lot of anger and in this and there was a punching see the punching of the fist right here oh god all right let's get some more information will these people be caught please spirit so we've got three of pentacles it's going to take some time to bring all the details and evidence whatever's there together um people have to work as a team to be able to you know um chase this down and bring things together like the, the puzzle pieces because really when you think about it there may not be enough evidence i mean his bones were found they don't know how he died um which is why his family believed because his head was decapitated that he was hung up somewhere and it's just horrific i don't want to think about it too much um but i'm going to get some physical characteristics now okay and just yeah i'm just going to move these out of the way for a second because if you pull out too many cards it can get confusing with my crime deck um but yeah far out i still get that m really strongly so it's either their initial or it's somewhere they come from i mean i mean i know that's not you know very uh helpful but yeah i get it that it's in their initial there's an m so straight eyebrows now because there's a few of them we will get contradictory messages but we'll just see what comes up salt and pepper hair so there could be someone a bit older um who's got like that gray black hair like the, the dark hair with the grays coming through because i feel like they were way older than him some of them as well confident extroverted and a smoker so someone smokes someone's very confident and extroverted very loud shaved head didn't i say that they probably shaved their head or something. I don't know why I think that. Um, but it said medium length hair before too. So someone might have medium length hair. They might tie it in a ponytail. And then someone else got a shaved head. Face shape is round. This could all be different ones. Goatee. Someone's got a goatee. And excellent dental health. Well, that wouldn't be the smoker, I don't think. <laughs> um we've got someone who's curvy so they might have like be overweight be curvy i wonder if there's a female involved crooked teeth or a tooth and five foot to five five so someone who's not overly tall average height uh younger than him as well so there is a younger one yeah i keep seeing that younger one gray eyes um someone's in a relationship interesting how i just said is there a female Wears reading glasses. Athletic. Wow. I mean, it could be in a relationship with a guy, but I don't. I don't get that idea. I just don't feel that. Um, deep voice. Oh God, I don't want to tune in. I can hear them whistling out to him. Man, this is creeping me out. Okay. Um, wealthy. Someone's got money. Um, straight posture, confident. So we see someone who's very confident, someone who's in a relationship, someone who's single. We've got white teeth. So someone really looks after their teeth. Uh, upward eyebrows. You can Google that if you don't know what it is. Uh, we've also got a white collar job. So someone might actually go into maybe an office kind of job, uh, medical field, whatever that might be. It's kind of weird because you look at the factory that they were working in. It's kind of more industrial Wears a badge, job, uniform, club member. Mm -hmm. hmm. No allergies. Uh, this is interesting me. So it doesn't mean they have to be in law enforcement, of course. It could be that they're part of a club. It could be a gun shooting club. It could be um, a sports thing that they are a part of. You know, it could be that. Wears a badge, could be just Cub Scouts, whatever it might be. Uh, like a Cub Scout leader or something. Moustache. So we've got goatee and a moustache, and we've got serious persona, missing teeth or a tooth, and we had a crooked teeth or tooth, missing a tooth or teeth, yeah, clean shaven, face shape is diamond, 
We've got false teeth for somebody, so that could mean that they're older, they just don't have good dental health. Maybe they had an accident or had a punch on one day and their tooth's come out, now they need a false tooth. Hazel eyes, you know, might not tell us a lot. Long hair, speaks with an accent. So they're obviously not from the area, they might have a totally different accent to that place. Could be that they're a foreigner from somewhere else entirely, like... Uh, maybe they have traveled through from another country under five foot. That's really small. So makes me wonder how young that person might be, or they're just very short, cheeky smile. Someone has, uh, let's get a couple more brown eyes, brown eyes and moles. <sighs> One more and face shape is heart. Here we are overweight and wears hats and caps which a lot of people do. I don't know if there's anything else. Yeah, let's get some ideas of maybe, uh, well, it's going to be hard because if they're all in different states, it kind of does make it a bit harder. But we've got in days, there could be some news in days or it could be a few days drive to get to where they live. That's 60 to 110 kilometers away. Interesting for somebody. And hours. So it could be just a matter of hours where someone lives you know, from that place and days, a few days drive southwest 500 to a thousand kilometers. So there's some that live far away and there's some that live closer. Um, hmm. Guilt. Someone is feeling guilty and fearful. And that's probably the one that has a conscience and one's aloof and has an addiction. I'm telling you there's smoking drugs. And also alcohol and insecurities for one of them there. Wow, guys, I'm not sure what else I could possibly ask. You know, it does show that, well, it has said here that there's going to be an arrest. There's going to be, um, yeah, this showing that there's going to be an arrest, justice, someone coming forward. I really hope someone with a conscience comes forward um, and gives details because it's just not fair. It's not fair that, you know, he's, you know, just being kind of like with the investigation side in a way being pushed to the side. Like, it's, you know, they're saying, oh, it's not being swept under the rug. But I'm thinking, well, have they, have they interviewed the owner of that plant? Because he's actually stated in his uh, text to his mother that, uh, what did he say? Me and the owner of this company are not seeing eye to eye. If anything happens to me, he is responsible for it. He got these guys wanting to kill me. So something has riled up with that owner. He's, it sounds like he is the one who's instigated this whole mob mentality. And I can't say that's fact, but the fact is his own words. His own words are saying that the company owner who is in that area, in, in the vicinity of that police department. I'm wondering, how has he got connections with the police? I don't know. Like, what are they doing, these guys? I suppose in, at the end of the day, all they can really do is interview these people. But if there's no weapon, if there's no evidence on them, like blood or, you know, it's hard for them, I suppose, to be able to bring a conviction. Um... <laughs> That's why maybe this is what has to be relied upon is this eyewitness account. Um, you know, someone who may have been an accomplice. You know, it is an accomplice, but someone who didn't really want to be an accomplice, but has, you know, maybe been threatened or told to hush hush, might have thought it was just a bit of fun at the time and didn't realize it was going to escalate out of control to the point of him being killed. Um, I do feel like there's one in the group that is f feeling this. He's fearful, he's anxious, he's younger. Um, and it's weighing on his mind and I really hope that he can come forward and yeah, just tell his side of the story, even anonymously, you know, get it out there because this family, Rashim's family deserve justice. They deserve the answers. It's just not fair that, uh, you know, they've got that evidence of that text. You know, if that text message never... Uh, existed and if Rashim never went to the police department then you could really say well God knows what happened we don't you wouldn't even know about those guys um, but he's actually said to his mum if something happens to me they're responsible for it that owner of the company is responsible he's got these guys wanting to kill me just boggles my mind 
you know, these guys should be hauled back and interrogated. They really need to be, especially the owner of the company. Um, so it doesn't even sound like that's really happened. Um, yeah, but hopefully some new eyes or a PI or something can find something that they can work with and get to the bottom of it because his family deserve it and so does Rashim. Hope this has um, given you some insight into this case, guys, and let me know what you think. Um, if you've heard of this case, not a lot of people hear of these cases. Um, so, you know, I'm a channel that won't just suddenly pump out all these videos on all these, you know, vi uh, cases where it's like really in the mainstream, like so many people and YouTubers are already onto them. Uh, I like to look at cases that don't have a lot of attention. Um, and yes, I do do cases as well that have been um, in the mainstream because it's obviously something that I'm interested in as well, seeing what, what's all the hype about, what are they going on about. But these ones as well, I really want to give them a voice. You know, they deserve it. And same with the three Ecuador girls who were recently murdered. There's not much on them at all. I even just looked on, was it uh, uh, YouTube the other day? to see if there was any news reports on them. I didn't see anything. So I'm just like, what the hell? What's, what's going on with this reporting, you know? Um, so I want to do a, a uh, uh, what am I saying, a reading on those ones as well, because I think they deserve to have a voice and the way they died was hor horrific as well. Um, but thanks for being here, guys. I love, you know, connecting with you guys in the premiere especially. And let me know what you think about this case. And if, it, if I'm called to, I will do a spirit session. I still haven't done the Idaho 4. Um, well, actually, I had sat down and tried to communicate with them and connect, but it wasn't very strong. And I've just got to um, yeah, have the energy to be able to sit down and do these sessions. But I really wanted to get this one out today. I felt drawn to doing it. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. I look forward to connecting with you next time. Love you.